To start your final draft pocket box, you need to first refer to the expectations and grading rubric to make sure you have everything that you need for each section. Don't make any mistakes on this piece of paper. It is the one that is going to be cut out and glued into the box for your major grade. Draw lightly in pencil first, ask questions when you need to, and use the extra cardstock on the box page if you need. For your final idea, you should see a theme across all the parts of the box, from the front cover, the back cover, the sides, and the entire layers of the inside. For your background, it should set the scene and fill up the entire two by three inch rectangle. It could be an inside or an outside view. For the foreground, you should have your main object be well drawn, detailed, interesting, and fill about a third or half the space. It's gonna be cut out from the rectangle and either have tabs or a spacer box to help it float out and be the closest object to the viewer. For the middle ground, it could be words, natural objects, landmarks, people, or anything. And it's going to be also cut out from the rectangle and have tabs or a spacer box. It is going to fit behind the foreground and in front of the background. For the front cover, you could have a creative title, interesting lettering style. It could include the words pocket box. It also has some kind of related border, pictures, drawings, color, and design. For the sides, you need to have them decorated with something that relates to the theme. I'm using tracing paper here to trace, flip, and transfer a design that I want repeated multiple times. The back cover needs to have your name, date, and art number, plus more drawings, more color. Don't be repetitive with your work. We don't want to see the same thing everywhere. Be creative with how you're going to make a cohesive piece of art. With all my pencil work done, edited, fixed until it's perfect, I am ready to move on to pen. The pen is going to be black, so anywhere you draw, it will turn black. Be aware of that. I'm going to cover all the pencil lines I want to keep and that I want to be black with a flare pen. After that, I need to erase any leftover pencil. My tabs can stay in pencil. If you look on the middle ground, the foreground, I have a pencil tab that is outside of that dashed line that I can leave in pencil. After pen and eraser, I can start to color it all in. I want to blend colors, layer colors, create new colors. I need to color in the entire background. My foreground and middle ground, there should be some space that is not colored in on those. And then my entire cover piece. I'm going to use colored pencils and mix and blend. Some colors could be light, some colors could be more bold. After that, I am ready to start to put this together. I'm going to need scissors and glue, my box template, my spacer boxes, and my final draft drawings. I'm going to start by cutting my box template out. I'm going to cut on all the solid lines around the outside edges so that I have the finished template. You can see star tabs, letter tabs, lines that are dotted and dashed. And all that's going to make sense when we start to build this thing together. Once it is done being cut, I'm ready to start folding. The dashed and dotted lines represent whether a tab is folding up or down. I'm going to be using my ruler or an ID, something to help me kind of create nice crisp folds as I'm folding this. You will see more detailed instructions on how to assemble this box. I'm going to use thin layers of glue as I tuck tabs in and glue them into place. I'm going to start by then cutting out my background scene, trimming it down so it fits flat in the back of the box, and I'll glue it into place. I'll then work on my middle ground. That's going to take a little bit more cutting as I need to go cut in and around the object, and then either work with tabs or with spacer boxes so that I can float away from my background. I actually ended up using a combination of both of those. My foreground object will also be cut away, and a combination of tabs and spacer boxes will help that float and be the topmost layer. I use my pen to go back and clean up anything that needs to be blackened after cutting. And spacer boxes are folded to make almost like a little cube. You can trim them down. They come in different depths. You can also just use scrap paper, and that will help hold things away from the previous layer. For the front cover, I'm going to cut out that entire rectangle. There should be the two sides, the top, the bottom, and the star tab that holds it all together. I'll fold on those lines, glue the last tab under, and wait to let that dry before I attach it to my box because I don't want to glue my pocket box inside the cover. And I'm done.